Welcome. I'm going to go over how to download EndNote version 21 to your desktop. Starting off on the Kornhauser Health Sciences Library homepage, we're going to click on services in the toolbar and go down to EndNote training. On the left hand side here, we're going to go to intro to EndNote and click on U of L's web store. You can also access U of L's web store by going to the louisville.edu homepage and searching for the U of L's web store. This is also how you will access other program, software and programs such as Microsoft programs and the like. And of course, you'll click on EndNote when that comes up. You might have to log in with your U-Link ahead of time, but since I'm already logged in, we're going to go over to EndNote. And you're going to want to click on EndNote 21, which is the most recent version that the university subscribes to and that EndNote has put out. When you click on that, it's going to act like you're checking out via online shopping. So you click Add to Cart. And you click View Full Cart. And you're saying that you're placing this order for yourself. And you hit Checkout. Of course, it is free for you as a university member. You will hit continue. And if it doesn't automatically fill out the contact information for you, you put in your first and your last name and your university email, and you do the CAPTCHA to verify that you are not a robot and click continue. And then you will click download to download the software to your desktop. Make sure that when you're downloading software, you're not saving it to a cloud system or a network drive. Make sure you're saving it to your computer's actual hard drive. And then click download for Mac or Windows and follow the instructions accordingly. You'll just need the regular settings, depending on which operating system you're using. If you are not gonna be a member of the University of Louisville for a while and you're leaving, you still have access to whatever is the most recent version of the EndNote software that you download. You can take that with you. You just won't be able to subscribe to updates unless you're connected to a subscription via an institution or one that you pay for yourself. If you have trouble downloading EndNote and getting it to open, you will need to speak to ITS about that. If you have questions regarding the software itself, once it is properly downloaded, please feel free to speak to the libraries and we will be happy to help you. Thank you.